So guys, do you see that? The train hit the bike. You know, they had parked the bike on the train track, it seems like. So the train has hit the bike and it doesn't care. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, my name is Chandan Sharma. I am currently at NGP railway station to take my first ever Darjeeling toy train ride. Built in 1879 and completed in 1881, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This toy train runs on a narrow gauge line of just 2 feet. For speed and efficiency, only the diesel engine trains run between NGP and Darjeeling. You can still avail the old steam engine rides which I will talk about later in the video. There are two types of tickets available. There's a first class which is for 1420 rupees. There's a toilet in the coach, the only toilet in the entire train. The other one is chair car, a newly built Vista Dome coach for 1200 rupees. Please note that there's no AC on either of the two coaches. For the first hour or so, while still in Siliguri, it can get pretty hot, particularly in the chair car. But the large windows and roof glasses offer great panoramic views as you move along the hills. It's going to depart at uh, 10 o'clock. By the time we reach Darjeeling, it will be, I guess, 5 5.30, I think. But you know, it's going to take more than that. I have heard that by Darjeeling, it's going to be 8 or 9 o'clock. I will show you the whole journey. It's going to be fun. There are only 15 people, I think. So it's like you can sit wherever you want. It's like that. So, friends, we have our toy train from NGP exactly at 10 o'clock. This train covers a distance of 88 kilometers from NGP to Darjeeling in over 8 hours. I am a Siliguri, but this is my first time on this train and I am hoping this to be a fun and joyful ride. So join me on this journey as we pass through the most scenic routes in the world through the 2 feet narrow gauge line of the toy train. That is the broad gauge line around 5 feet 6 inch wide and the strain is running on a 2 feet narrow gauge line. Can you imagine the difference? It's less than half. It's very hot but it's fun. So guys, uh, look, up now first station points gay. Uh, this is the first station, first halt. This is Silvery Junction. So pata nahi idhar kitna rukega. Maybe five ten minutes. Silvery Junction, the first stoppage, and we are going to stop here for two minutes, I think. This ka platform ye alag hai. Baaki jo dekh rahe ho udhar, wo udhar hai apna broad gauge line. Ye narrow gauge line. This is only for the for the toy train. Following the COVID-19 pandemic in the country, the DHR was stopped for 18 months. On the 25th of August 2021, it was back on track. And I took this train on the 1st of September 2021. Past the Siliguri Junction, the train passes through the middle of villages and markets of the Siliguri Plains with onlookers and shopkeepers waving at you. And before our next stoppage, this is what happened. So guys, do you see that? <laughs> the train hit the bike, you know, they had parked the bike on the train track, it seems like. So the train has hit the bike and it doesn't care. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's people's fault, obviously, because they were not supposed to kind of, you know, uh, park the bike on the train track. This is Salbadi and there's a huge crowd. Today is Wednesday. Oh man, doesn't let me vlog. So today is Wednesday, so there's a market here in Salbadi. Because of that, there was a 
a huge crowd here and people had parked the bikes on the train track you know so <laughs> the train did not care and he hit the bike seems like there is one more bike on the train track ah uh, yeah, bike <laughs> train track pe rakh diya hai virse bike Now there's a constant noise signal from the train but still people don't care and then they park the bikes they don't even come to remove the bikes so this is what happens the the train makes constant noise you know so it's difficult to block inside the train Leaving the crowd and the heat of the Siliguri behind, we reached Sukhna, a small village and a second railway station of DHR, located 9 kilometers from Siliguri. The train stopped for no more than 2 minutes here. Pura ghar mein lage chakra. Ye mile jao, idhi mein hawa milega aage mein. Aur karo. From Sukhna there is a gate to enter Mahananda Wildlife Sanctuary it is from Sukhna the real ascent starts and the gradient increases rapidly the train continues its climb of more than 890 feet through the hill cart road to reach the next station Rongtong 7 kilometers from Sukhna So these are the only people we have in the train right now just five points for this coach Aapka naam kya hai Subrata Sarkar Subrata Sarkar ha ंगीपीट On the way it passes through thick Mahananda forest often crisscrossing with the main road through sharp curves and loops Because of less traffic and greenery all around this place is a favorite for cyclists and bike riders I often come here for cycling myself but you have to be careful of the elephants which are not uncommon here The train moves at an average speed of 11 kilometers per hour. Passing through the forest. There's a thick jungle it's passing through. And sometimes as you can see it doesn't move at all. <laughs> What happened? Something happened. we've reached rong tong this is the third stoppage of the toy train it's at 1404 feet you can see an attendant keeping a bag of sand sand is often sprinkled on the tracks when the train tend to skid in steep gradients the dhr narrow gauge line is one of the engineering marvels of its time It was an extremely difficult and complex job to lay the lines because of the steep gradient and the terrain. There are several innovative engineering designs used in laying the tracks. There are double loops, single loops, curves, zigzag lines, z reversals to negotiate the gradient at ease. One such creative design is the z reversals. In which the train goes several yards backwards and then takes a run up along a different high track. to gain elevation The 
There's a story that a railway contract manager named Herbert Rumsey, who was laying the railway tracks, shared the problems of unimaginable gradients with his wife while dancing with her. And she innocently replied, If you can't go forwards, why don't you go backwards, darling? Meaning that a reversal is permitted in a ball dance. This simple idea resulted in the creation of Z reversals that help the train ease out the elevation. Guys, we are moving forwards again. There are a total of 873 curves, 5 loops, 6 Z reversals to cover a distance of 88 kilometers and get an altitude of 7218 feet. Like any other railways, this narrow gauge line also requires constant service and maintenance. On the way, you'll see workers along the tracks with the manual tools working to keep this historic DHR running. Our train is approaching Tindharia, locally called Tindhare in Nepalese. The station is at an altitude of 2,822 feet at a distance of 12 kilometers from Rongtong. This area is prone to frequent landslides during monsoons and the roads and the rail tracks are often damaged. Guys, it seems like there was a landslide here, as you can see. Uh, it's quite treacherous, huh, road? Must have been... Oh, look at this track. What is this, man? <laughs> what is this? As you can see, we just crossed the road and then we are entering into this village area. Surprisingly, we are right on time at Tindharia. Oftentimes, the train makes a crossing here with the train coming from Darjeeling. If there is no crossing, the train stops for only 5 minutes here. That is our train. This train is, I think, it's going uh, back to Siliguri. The Heritage DHR Locomotive Workshop is located here in Tindharia. So guys, I think we are putting sand on the track because it's slippery, I think. Where Balu? Balu laga hai kya? Slippery hai. Fisla hua isliye? Oh, this is chakka slippery ga. The DHR is the oldest mountain railway of India a heritage transport that once provided the first and the most important transport in the country. On the way, we see breathtaking view of the mist-covered mountain valleys and the waterfalls. This iconic ride through picturesque locations have attracted people from all over the world over hundreds of years. We are on the way to Kershank. The next stop is Kershank. Uh, the halt will be like for 10 minutes. We've already ordered food uh, from here only. They took the orders and I've ordered like veg, uh, veg biryani. So yeah, the next stop would be Kershank. So all in all, it's, it's a fun experience. The weather is really nice. Um, and it's very pleasant. Uh, full of fog and clouds.
Often times it passes so close to the houses and shops that it almost feels like there's no space between the tracks and houses and you can almost touch them. As it passes through the villages, the train touches the lives of many people without causing any harm. Our train is almost halfway through its journey. We have reached Kershang, a popular town on the way to Darjeeling. <sighs> Despite the view because of the slow pace and the hilly terrain, you are bound to get exhausted on this long journey. So, kind of tired man. I was feeling sleepy on the way. It's, it's a long journey. I said I would have to eat there. I had to eat the food in the morning. But I left it all. I don't know why. Did you In Siliguri Junction, our TT had taken orders for interested people to get food from Amarjit Hotel in Kershang. In Kershang, the hotel guys got everyone's food except mine. They kept me waiting till the last minute and it was time for the train to leave and I was left hungry. Kershang is a major halt before Ghum. The train stops for a good 10 minutes here. During this time, you can get food at the nearby shops, but I suggest you that you bring your own food and water on this journey. So guys, I am eating food. My sir gave food. Because I have ordered the veg biryani, but they are supposed to bring it in Kershaw. But everything is here. I just want to eat. So I am eating food. It will go like this. So guys, it is important to note that no food is served on the train and you don't find any food vendors along the way. So it's advisable to carry your own food and water. The train stops for only about 10 minutes in Kershaw and it barely stops for a minute or two at other stations. The 7.5 hour toy train journey at snail pace all the way from NGP to Siliguri with just one toilet facility can be uncomfortable for many, particularly with children. And to top it all, the train often runs late. Also, there is no option for steam engine ride in this journey. But there are a number of short round trips called joy rides that operate between Darjeeling and Ghum via Batasha Loop on a regular basis. With this, you'll have an option to take either the steam engine or the diesel engine. However, the costs are different for both rides. You will also get an entry to DHR Museum at Ghum with this. Additionally, there is a jungle toy train tea safari ride from Siliguri Junction to Rongtong in a heritage steam engine. It is a round trip of 3 hour journey.
Guys, we've reached uh, Goom Railway Station, the highest railway station of India. That is the Goom Museum. As you can see, it's very foggy right now at this place. Goom is the highest point of Darjeeling Himalayan Railway at an altitude of 7,407 feet and at a distance of 6 kilometers from Darjeeling. The toy train starts its descent toward Darjeeling from here. You can see guys we are going downhill now. In order to negotiate a descent of 1000 feet, the toy train makes a spiral loop at Batasia. There is a war memorial dedicated to the brave Gorkha soldiers of the Indian Army. On a clear day, you can get magnificent view of Darjeeling town and Kanchanjunga peaks from here. So guys, after almost 8 hours, we finally made it to Darjeeling. Lucky us, we reached at 6 p.m. almost on time. It was little tiring but overall a fun and joyful ride and I'm glad I took this ride all the way from NGP to Darjeeling. So guys, that's all from me for today. Hit me up if you have any queries regarding the DHR toy train. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye bye.